AFX stands for atypical fibrosanthoma. All the terms include paradoxic fibrosarcoma of skin, pseudosarcomatous dermatofibroma and pseudosarcomatous reticulohistiocytoma. These lesions tend to occur in the sun-exposed sites, particularly head and neck of the elderly, but they can occur in younger people and when they do so they tend to arise on the trunk and extremities. AFXs are low-grade tumours and excision is usually curative. Grossly atypical fibrosanthomas are usually 1 to 2 cm across. They are rapidly enlarging polypoid lesions and ulceration is common. Clinically, the differential diagnosis includes malignant melanoma, squamous cell carcinoma and pyogenic granuloma. Histological features of an AFX include tumour cells with hyperchromatic pleomorphic nuclei, bizarre multinucleated giant cells, a background of spindle cells and inflammatory cells. There are frequent mitotic figures. Two useful diagnostic features are one, the tumour is well demarcated, and the second is that the tumour is not in continuity with the epidermis. This is a low power view of an AFX. The lesion is polypoid. You can see how well demarcated the lesion is from the underlying dermis. Here the tumour can be seen to almost abut the epidermis, but it is separate from the epidermis and clearly does not arise from the epidermis. On higher power, this part of the tumour shows lots of spindle shaped cells with rather pleomorphic nuclei and quite frequent mitotic figures. And here the tumour looks cytologically horrid, with, again with a lot of nuclear pleomorphism and several multinucleate giant cells. 